Um, yeah, so with only having a few matches in, we figure, okay, trying to figure out his play style, what, what's fun for him. Um, yeah. and, and so something beefy that can punch. So obviously this is something beefy that can punch you, so he's not just going to get burned down right away, um, but can also burn down very fast, especially with focus fire from three arcs. Um, yes. So, <laughs> so it was trying to help him figure out what some of the best options were there. Yeah. And then, and, and you know, what's funny is in the way Todd's got the, those arcs kitted out, that, that wasn't even the way that we were discussing. <laughs> so, um, but all of that's... Yeah, he had a... What were, you, what were you looking at with the arts? What do you think he was going to uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. I think... Um, I'm wondering if we had R3 on all of them. Because they're already... I mean, obviously, I, I see the... Uh, you know, knowing that you go up against the ghost, the APT makes sense because get in there fast yeah. and burn, burn them down faster because two ghosts are not likely to um, take an arc off the board in, in first round of shooting or even the second round if you know depending on what you do so you get in there and get a couple of those advanced proton torpedoes off from different guys and yeah you're gonna burn a ghost down really fast um, yeah. but we didn't even focus on that we were thinking more I keep trying to remember exactly what it was but um, Oh damn! Yeah, I don't even so, think I have it saved anywhere right now that I could look it up. Yeah, that's all right. Well, I I built a list for mm -hmm. the Chopper Kane, uh, Alexander, and mm -hmm. Ben picked to play against Todd the first when we see what it was because I love the look of that list. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's it's quite similar. I just didn't have Leia, so I only had Ventic with Perceptive. Yeah. Uh, Dorsal Turret on both, but then I kitted out Chopper with. Zeb like he's got, mm -hmm. and uh, Magviaro. Okay. So after you take damage, you get a target lock on the ship if you want it. Mm -hmm. And being low initiative means he gets to shoot fully modern pretty much all the time, and you just you rock Ben pick up, pass the focus off, you take a reinforces your action, and then Magvi gives you your target lock. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So you're literally firing modded shots every single round until he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, I it was. It's really brutal. I'm playing around with it now, trying to figure out if it's viable against medalists and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, with our match that we just had, um, you know, with uh, the option to change your pilots after the second uh, second round, are yes. you are you thinking you're going to change it all, or are you just like what you have and going to keep working with it? Um, well, I've got a few different variations of that. I'll probably change, but well, what I change to, if I change factions or just change ships, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. We'll have a chat with the boys and see what they want to do. So now we've all seen a few lists out there we want to try. There's a double tap Han Solo list I want to try. Yeah. For the Rebels. So there, there's plenty of options out there at the moment, which I really like. Yeah, I'm... I will more than likely stay with uh, what I have here. Um, connect this back. For that me. Um, that cavil was really good. Uh, and you know, like, I, I kind of jumped into this whole thing as a joke, thinking, oh, well, you know, I, if I can meme with cavil and get off proton rockets, then that's just fun. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, going up this first one, being up against two medium bases and, and a large base and going, and it's boss. I'm like, I can absolutely get off a proton rocket, so. Yeah. That was one one thing I didn't want to let you do was get it off against Bosk. Yeah. Yeah. That was just, it would just decimate Bosk. And it, uh, and honestly, like, if, um, if I hadn't had that easy lineup on the red bounty hunter, then I would have been going for Bosk, but I was like, oh, well, we're yeah. just going to fire everything into this Red Bounty Hunter and do it that way. Yeah. I was sort of hoping to, um, maybe, I was thinking about maybe sacrificing one of them early on and mm -hmm. letting you get it off early when I had shields. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully I'll survive and I can come back a little bit later on, but... Yeah. Just, uh, I should have probably shouldn't have parked in front of the uh, mm -hmm. YV for so many turns <laughs> yeah and, and it's funny too because like you know 
you um, uh, hope oh, I guess they don't realize I gotta reset it I thought about um, jumping in the chat with them but do they need help it's 5400 yeah let me oh one there you guys go Alrighty, it's gonna be very good, and then oh, I love the color side of it as well on this list mm -hmm. with the gas clouds. If you get your range three defense for gas clouds, it's just like you can end up with four evades. Mm. It's unreal. Let me see if I can start that real quick as well. Okay. All right. Oh. That's not what I wanted. Make sure I didn't screw all that up real quick. Ah, a little bit, but it'll be okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, and I was also curious what that deployment was going to look like, and how did? What did I? Um. Hmm. Do those arcs have a three hard? Or arcs do have a three hard. Okay, that's... they did two hard. No, is it a three hard or two hard? Oh. The ones at the back did two hards. I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, they did two turns, three straights from the front ones. Oh, I see what they did. Okay, I was looking at it and something yeah. was just confused. I, I see how he got into in a formation to start. All right, that makes sense. Well, and Toddles is rolling first. That's probably not what you want to see from his point of view. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, it's not bad. You can... Yeah, it's tough because uh, that's one thing we were kind of going through and looking at this matchup, which is wondering who is really going to have the advantage going first. Um, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> I, I'd say with this deployment, it's kind of split um, because Benthic is not is in trouble of getting blocked so much right now. Yeah, you know, so Benthic can still get those pass that focus around. It, it's very much a fifty-fifty call. Yeah, the yeah. first engagement is going to be bloodbath. Yeah, if he gets the um, the other ghost mm -hmm. and Benthic in on the action to shoot the same ship, oh yeah, like, probably de definitely benefits Matt. Oh yeah, if, if they can, if if he, if all three of his ships can focus fire on uh, the yellow arc, then that would serve him well. Let me. That round so that's count. the end of round one. Yeah, he's got a round count there, but I'll, what you've done inside yeah. the charges, yeah. I'll be track of that as well. You just help him keep track of it. His round counter, is that... Uh, is that he's doing it at the start of the rounds. Gotcha. Is is that the thing they have in built into TTS you can use, or is that um, yeah, something he had? Yeah, it's in the um, object part. Gotcha. And uh, components. Yeah, I knew, they, I knew someone had mentioned... That they had a round counter built in TTS you use, or a counter, I should say. Um, but I hadn't even gone looking for it yet. Yeah, we use them for a lot of things, some score trackers and stuff, depending on what games we're playing. Makes sense. Makes sense. Let me post there in the Discord, just let them know there's a second one, second match going on if anyone wants to watch. I don't want to jump on and follow you. Which now is a free Twitch? Hey, yeah.
now we have to let them know that uh, it's all coming down to them because uh, Kyle won his match and you won our match. <laughs> yeah, we've already put it on totals. <laughs> Should say Todd. People wouldn't know about totals. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah. Let me see here. Twitch. I've uh, I've actually talked to Todd before a couple years ago. Um, yeah. Yeah, because he was he was make he made all sorts of um, uh, cards, cards, third party stuff. He I know he did like the Futurama cards as well. Yes. And yes. I I never got a chance to buy them, but I have a buddy that bought a ton of them from him. He loved the Futurama damage decks, and I absolutely yeah. love that. I just never got a chance to buy them. Um, and then also, I think he had shared some playmat designs, and there was a Spaceballs one that he did. Yep. Uh, for the the, the vacuum. <laughs> yep. And yep, that was awesome. I'm pretty sure I have it saved somewhere, and I just I never got a chance to sending it out to have it made. Yeah. I mean, it was gonna be it was gonna be like sixty bucks or something to have it made, and it would have been worth it, but it just never got around to it. So yep. what action did... Oh, I chopper took a target lock, okay. Yeah, he took a target lock. Um, oh, I kind of did. Mm, that's a little bit... Uh, I think Matt missed that one a little bit because we warned him in to, to definitely reinforce uh, yeah. Chopper you know, coming in on this engagement. But uh, I'm wondering if that was something that uh, maybe him and... Our, our other teammate Kyle had kind of worked out as like maybe Chopper just going to burn down fast no matter what so just maximize that alpha strike so we'll see range 3 shot obviously got to go to that yellow arc definitely going to try to it's a lot of green dice for an arc it is, it is Mm, target lock. No other mods. Because he gave that focus to Chopper. But that's not bad to spend the target lock on that. Oh, sorry. It spins a lock. Ah. Oof. No. Oh well. And doesn't even need to clap. Nope, nope, he just takes a laugh. That's that's not ideal for uh, that first shot coming out of the ghost. And no. then it is going to be all of Todd's twos. That range is two. just barely range two. Kind of like some of the shots we had. That one shot that was just barely, barely right at the range yeah. three. It seems Todd, um, he was setting up for this sort of engagement to mm -hmm. fire one off like this, and and he should be using the lap reroll. Yeah, because he has some fire convergence. That fire convergence, yep. Yep. And there he goes. I think that's. Yep, so still two in a blank. Yep. Alright, so that's your two damage on the ghost. Yep. And now, does he remember? Synchronized console. So what does synchronized console do? So you can burn the lock after you perform your attack. You can burn the lock you have on the defender. Mm -hmm. You spend it to allow another ship at range one, or a ship with synchronized console at range zero to three, I think, to take a lock on that guy. Gotcha. Range one or a friendly ship at range one to three with sync console. Can so you literally just swap the tile locks out. And that's yep, and here's his advanced proton Oof. torpedo, which could have had know, better spin the lock. Could have had better dice. So he transferred the lock but didn't put it on chopper. 
Yeah, yeah. He just uh Yeah. It's just how he set it over there. He just set it on his yellow on the yellow arc. That's fine. Yeah, he should he, yeah. For new players though, you should probably get rid of it and then respawn a new one off the Yeah. Issue. Yeah. Right, if it's too bad. Yep, spin the focus. Then one goes to a crit from from APT. Protons. So that's gonna be two crits going straight into the ghost. Oof. In the chopper. Yep. So chopper down all shields to crits. Let's see what those crits are. No way them out to you. Yeah. So wounded pilot. Yep. And damage sensor array. Yeah. And keep piling it on. So potentially get stressed. Range do a range three. Range three coming from the green up. Use five conversions for the bottom. And there we go. Turn the focus to three. And this time he gets a dice. Oh. Nice roll. Nice. So two more. One from one. Yeah, he won't have a lot of green dice to roll in this match until the ghosts are gone. Yeah. Make sure that okay. I'll let taking yep, he's using barrage rockets. Oof. What's he doing? Just I don't know, well, there you go. Yeah, yeah just <laughs> spends the focus of three. Yeah. And that's at that range two. And that'll be another three. It's barrage rockets, so there'd be no issue. Oh, you're there. correct. That's just three more down. Yeah. On chakra. What's that make it? Three makes it seven. Well, eleven points of damage in one round of shooting. Ouch. Ah, yeah, that's... Kind of a little bit of worst case scenario there. Yeah. For, uh, for but Matt. But still a chance to dish it back. Yep, yep. But to not uh, not get any damage. Yeah. With Kallus so right the, away. Um, the cloud. Need the reinforce is a big one there. Yeah, yeah, it, that would have prevented four damage. Yeah. You know. Actually, oh yeah, because he prevented one anyway with the evade, so it would prevent four extra. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why they just flipped that one, so... Yeah. Dice. Rounds. NT. Oof. That's not horrible. Uh, it's not horrible. I, Has I, he got a focus? Yeah, spend, yeah he's got a focus from Bentex. Spend the target lock. Spend it. I would... Yeah. Because Chopper... Always spend it. Especially when Chopper's just going to burn down so fast. Yeah. Ah, that's okay. That Still four. Yeah. And ju just insults and injuries. Like, still got the evade. <laughs> One guy's agility gets an evade. Uh, that's two from two in the game. Mm hmm. And then thick. Got a range two shot on yellow. Nice roll. Yeah. Hit <laughs> crit. Oh. Yeah, no worries. Yep. yep. What's he get? He's a wounded pilot as well. Alright, and that should be the end of that round.
That's two rounds down. Yep. Have you got anything in the overlay for the round counter yet? Or? Um, no, I, I haven't put any sort of add-ins whatsoever. Um, but uh, I'll, uh, something I'll mess with a little more in between now and the next match. Um, yeah. Just seeing about some add-ins, some little little things. At least on this one, with Todd's uh, round counter right there, it's pretty nice because I kept the. Obviously, I kept um, the charges across the board just out of uh, sight. Yeah. And I, I'm I'm literally you know just using the um, tabletop to overlay, which is obviously stupid, nice and easy. I don't know if you ever looked oh, at that yeah. before, but it makes it so easy to set up the overlay. Oh, well, you got three games going at once, do you? Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, was there a bunch of stuff happening in uh, Discord? Is everyone? Yeah. I figured there's gonna be a lot of last minute games. Yeah. It'd be better than this week because it's sort of like glad I gave you for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. So it looks like any time um like our our Solsons are gonna play Premier Americas. Mm-hmm. It's just the set date's probably set that time that's gonna be the easiest time probably. Yeah, yeah, th- th- this time frame right here, Friday night, Saturday morning is and you know, now, you know, noon time ish, you know. Make sure I got all the damage I did. Um, Todd needs to recover one charge on his uh, fire convergence. There it goes. Updated. Yeah, I'll definitely have to mess around with uh, the overlay stuff and see what else I can add in. I know there's so much things, but uh, I wish uh, I wish I had a couple more monitors. I've got one pretty decent ultra wide monitor, but uh, yeah, it you know it's still not uh, not not perfect. Gun dog stream. Right. Now. Hmm. So, the arcs move first. Yep. You got a little bit of gas cloud in the way for red. It feels kind of trying to get sneaky, but it's it's tough because there's just going to be some bumping here. Um, which can work to Chopper's favor a little bit. But it still won't take. If you can get a few ships, it definitely does. Yeah. But it still won't take much to burn Chopper down here. No, not with four left, three left. Yeah. He said he had a disabled power regulator and wounded pilot. Was that what those two were on him? Uh, damage sensor ray, wounded pilot. Okay. Add those on. Add damage um, sensor ray and wounded pilot, and we'll add wounded pilot over here on the other one. There it is. Oh yeah, those back arcs—they may make a difference. Yeah, wow, that um. I guess with no defense dice, it's. Not the worst option. Oh, you've gone that way. Oh, that's right. So you rolled for uh, that. Did and did yellow roll for wounded pilot? Or is he? He's getting ready to now. Yeah, looks like what he's doing now. Yep. Good. So that is fine. But he take title off. Yep. Mm-hmm. Go with a 
prefer to see it too hard there. Yeah, it's um... We've got a feeling there's a 5k coming out. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe not. The, um... No, if he he's... did, I should have done layer, but he probably hasn't. Yeah, no, he, well, he would have had to have announced it already. Uh, yeah. It's one of those Start things. Start activation. Yeah. Because that's one of those triggers that I think we tried to remind him a few times just in case he went. And he, it, it's such a good tool, but being new to the game, it's, it was definitely hard for him to quite remember it. Yeah. But uh, that's, it can just be tricky like that. At least no matter what, Chopper will get a shot this um, round. Yeah. Well, that stopped, which is... Mm -hmm. Covers that K turn if that's what he did. Oof, oh, I'm going to take that focus off from last round. And... Yeah. That... Yeah, take a strain on Benthic. And that's a tough one as to whether or not uh, knowing that you're probably going to get burned down if maybe you just pop Leia and and Zero Stalker or you wing uh, that's I don't think that would have been a good choice anyways. Yeah. Um, but to just push the mod it out because Chopper's going to get a shot no matter what just to maximize. But um, yeah, he goes one straight. And did not bump. No, he's got plenty of room. That's a, that's a sad chop. I don't like these big ships. I can't see the bases. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely plenty of space. It's too late to worry about reinforce. He's sitting there wondering about his, uh, I wouldn't even worry about just take a focus. No, just well, no, you can't because uh, probably even a target lock. Just yeah. try to maximize your hits. Um, I think with damage sensor array, he can't do anything. Ah, oh, yes. So basically, all you can do is repair damage sensor array. Ah, uh, just take a focus. You're gonna die anyway. Uh, Chopper doesn't have a focus. Oh, he does not. Oh, yeah. wow. Yep. Sad. Yeah, that that's real sad. Oof. So he can't do uh, uh he can't do it. Do you wanna jump in and let him know or Yeah, let me hold on. We jump over there. Uh hey guys. Yes, uh, are you taking a target lock there with Chopper? Yeah, yes. you, you can't. Yeah, so yes, sir, move. Right? Yeah, with damage sensor array, you can't. Ah, uh, yes, you have to take a focus, yeah. And, oh, yeah, you're right. And yeah. He, he can't take a focus okay. because Chopper only has calculate. Yeah, oh. no, good call. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's going to die. Anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just a bad fortune, uh, round of events. All right. You yeah, get, I'll jump back. You guys enjoy. Are we on round three or four? You know, uh, thi this is round three. Yep. Cool. Yep. Just double checking. No problem. All right. Well, yeah. So Callus is not moved. He's uh, too. All right. Got that straightened out with them. They're good. Okay, so Callus hit the cloud as well. Buddy. All right. Yep. They're. Uh, they're all sorted now. Yeah, they're all sorted. Only. I think it was a discussion we had as well. I would. I'd go after the lat here. Um, even if it is splitting fire, it's just. Chopper doesn't have the green one. Um, no, so yeah. 
I think your, your biggest guns are on the lap, so you probably just try to take the lap down. Oh, and you know what? Did he remember to put his torso turrets on? <laughs> no. Oh, he might not have. <laughs> Let me... Five of those dice? Yeah. Oh no, he's yeah. yeah, so three hits to go through. Shields down on him. Uh he rolled an evade, so two shields down yep. on the left. Yep. Oh. Ooh, he spend it or will he keep it? I think you keep it and give it the green here for the range one primary up the front. Oh, yeah, so you're talking about passing your target lock? Um, yeah, synchronized console. Yep, yep, I see what you're saying. Yeah, and then let, let green shoot the uh, APT. You could use fly convergence, though. True, yeah, yeah. There yeah. You yeah, that is. That's some nice synergy between all of them. So. Ends up with two. So he should be down to one. Yep. And yep, may pass it along. Yeah. Might be a little. You know, that's a that's Isn't a question mark. Uh, I mean, I oh, I don't think. The you can mid lead. So really do yeah, Ben thinks at range two, so yeah, he's, he's shooting Benthic right now. No, he's he's shooting oh, chopper, but he's not shooting APT because he doesn't need to. No, that's right. There's no reason. That was to something do. we actually spoke about. The, the ghosts, mm -hmm. with the APTs on the board, it should be ideally mm -hmm. one APT per ship per enemy ship. Mm -hmm. Because your free dice primaries and your barrage rockets should be able to take care of the rest. Yeah. Done. Oh, oh that's a sad chopper. Yeah. But at least chopper will get to a. Uh, still get to shoot. I just realized. Yeah. Why does it look like my overlay is missing a ship? It looks like. That's weird. Um, yeah, it's, yeah missing. it's missing. And I don't know. Callus. It's missing Callus, and I'm not sure why. I'm not sure where the heck he went. <laughs> okay. So Looks like he's shooting at. Is that the obstructed Callus? Oh, okay, abstracted Kalos, gotcha. Yeah. And then... This is what Kalos likes to see. Yeah, if he modifies his dice as well, then Kalos would also get another dice. I don't but, think he has any mods though, so... Yeah, yeah. It's a shame. I like to see those sort of triggers go off. Yeah, yeah, it's always fun. That was... In, it happens pretty often when you're shooting Kalos. Yeah. Yeah, people don't care about modding against Callus. It's a ghost. You need to put the damage into him. Yeah. Yeah. And double check damage here. I got two cards on him. Alright, chopper shot, which he only has one option. Let me five dice into the lat. Come on, a good roll to finish. <laughs> no mods. No mods. It's a good roll. Yeah. It's a decent roll. Just, uh, yep, and it's gonna go. Well, that's putting. That's almost killed him. Oh, no, he's got eight. Yeah. They are tanky. Oh, yeah, they're. They're thick. Oh, I was thinking five damage and not three. Mm -hmm. So, uh. And Benthic. 
Did he shoot with Benthic? No, he hasn't shot with Benthic yet. Not yet. Let's see if I or assume he will be shooting the yellow arc to try and kill that off. Yeah. And then Benthic won't have any mods. But I would definitely shoot at yellow. Because yellow doesn't have any mods either. Oh, so did they end up doing anything with Chopper? Um, what do you mean as far as, uh... Like, action, when I took the target lock away? No, 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 because the only, the only thing he could have done was repaired, was yeah. repaired that card. You know, he could have repaired that, that was it, and it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, they, they... they yeah, it makes no difference that round. No, nah, they kind of, once I told him he couldn't take a target lock, they're like, oh, you have to take a focus, well, Chopper can't take a no. focus. Yeah. Let's see if he makes the right call here. There's a um, interesting question. The, they're allowing teams to talk to each other through games. How do you feel about that? Um, considering how much planning can go to it having a week to do everything, I don't really have a problem with it because there's already significantly more input you can be gaining than you would in a normal match anyways. Yeah. So... I, I don't mind the pre-game talking and planning. I'm not a fan of the in-game mode. That's just me because I don't. I prefer people not to come in and give me ideas or yeah, like while I'm actually playing. I I guess, and and that was something I think Chris mentioned too was, um, basically just the idea that, you know, as long as your opponent is okay with what's going on. Then you know th yes. th that that makes it because yeah, everyone should be comfortable. This is all for fun, you know. So, oh, that's it. So. And I'm all for new new variations, new styles of play. Yeah, yeah. I've been I've been waiting for a teams event to play for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I I back when the last crate cup that almost happened, I had been thinking about going down, um, but every so many things fell apart. Uh, events fell apart there, right there at the end. Um, I, I, met, I was supposed to be in San Diego uh, for a competition, a, a climbing competition that we wound up canceling. Um, so like that fell apart right at the beginning of the pandemic. And then the year before that, I had been tr trying to put together going down for Great Cup, but I had six month olds and I would have been murdered um, by my wife <laughs> I'd done at the time. So I thought, hey, you know what? I shouldn't do this. All right, let me try and fix. Well, they're setting their dials. See if I can't get this overlay fixed because I didn't realize. There's the U wing, pivot wing, Leia. I didn't realize Callus was not there. That looked weird before, but I didn't actually pick it up. Yeah. So, so. Why do I feel like I'm missing a couple of things here? Dorsal turret. Oh, that's the other thing we gotta. Oh, ben thick. That's what it was. I gotta change the pilot. And give him. Ship of co pilot. Because right. mm, he doesn't have any damage on the other guys right now, so. Just see if we can't fix that. You know, Callus keeps uh, not popping up. I don't know. Huh. I don't know why that's happening. Um, so I just swapped it out and Kala still didn't pop up. Maybe I'll have to swap to Yasby instead of... Uh, so say maybe the thing's not up to date? Yeah, maybe something's not up to date with... Callus was a 2.0 release, wasn't it? Oh, well, this all started in 2.0, so I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's... Uh, let's see here. I was using Chris's builder, and maybe for some reason it's not exporting the XPS properly. 
the only thing I can think. Um, yeah, mate, they did you have troubles with Mondas to start with, didn't you? Yeah. Then... The one thing... Um, that I want to yeah. see if I can't take notice of is whether or not they've got the turret on. Yeah, he's got his turret indicator on, on Callus. Yeah, so he's good. So they, they, he, they remember that. That's what matters. So I make sure they didn't lose track of that. <laughs> oh, have you been flipping the charges? I should have to do it. Hmm. Yeah, yep. yeah, he has used synchronized console last round. He recharged that, so he's still at one. Where are you? Okay, let's try this again. XWS. One more time, and then I'm not gonna. Nope. Does not like uh, uh, tabletop to. Apparently, does not like callus. <laughs> I. Yeah, you can always just put chopper back on there with the the health on there for callus. Yeah, that's about all I can do. Um, I would just maybe change Zebrelius over to callus uh, card. Maybe that will let people know it is callus. Yeah, or. Yeah. Me, because Cal his callus is seventy points. So what I'm gonna do is just load up a, a you know, even putting a Lotha Rebel in there is you know, yeah, it's, it's the same. So let me try to just export that. There we go. Alright, so give that a minute to pop up. And we double check damage elsewhere. Yeah, he's got three cards. He's got two, two cards in him. Yep, yep. So damage looks good. So they've already got uh, four rounds complete, or are they are starting their fourth round. I think they're starting. Oh, the ouch! Ventic takes a strain off the cloud. Oof. He's drawing the wound at the end. Okay. Oof. This is really rough. Yeah. No. Nah, uh, this whole opening engagement definitely worked out well for Todd. And those rear arcs on the on the arcs, they definitely uh oh. Yeah. You let that they may only be Yeah. You know, how are you do for player at the start? Yeah. I'll I'll let so that you make sure the lat's gone now. Yeah. And um, actually get rid of five converters and see if he's lucky before. Yeah, that was something we talked about about target priority against Todd's list was uh, I mean obviously he would initially try to keep the lat from being um, focused fire but if, you know if he can focus fire, fire converge it's huge yeah especially with um, the I see console work so you just take one lock and you take focuses of the rest mm -hmm. using the ability to sacrifice one shot for two good shots from the other arcs and fire converge itself to with First re roll and the last re roll. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like. Really. Really simple, but really good. Mm hmm. And of course, that, that lat still has five health, but a 5v1 shot can be pretty damaging. Now what action is he taking with uh... Is he taking anything? Yeah. With Callus. What did I have seen? Oh, he took the focus. Oh, okay. Personally, he would have taken a target lock. Yeah, I think I would have taken a target lock there as well. 
Callus. You know he's concentrating on uh, Benthic this turn, so. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, and that sucks. That's where I target Lark, you know. But. Oh. oh. oh no. <laughs> that's, that's just. <laughs> oh, poor Matt. <laughs> that's an insult right there. His twos, which looks like he'll have Arc on on Callus as well, even from the lat. Oh yeah. Let's see, uh, the question is, does Red have a shot on? Red might even have a shot on him. It'll be real close. So if he wants, yeah, I think he. Um, I think he probably takes the opportunity to throw the advanced protons into Bendy. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was true with Red then. Uh, well, to do that, would he have to would he have to shoot <laughs> Adam with green at Benthic with green in order to pass the target lock to red form? Yes. Okay. Yes, hundred percent. Gotcha. So, question: So you just go through there, try to burn him down, and then you can potentially put two shots in the callus if uh, seeing how da how the damage goes on the other shots. Yeah. So we know Lat's going to be shooting Callus because mm -hmm. the only shot he has. So oh, look at that. That's. Yep. Now it looks like that landed a hit. No, no, it landed focus. Okay, so hit crit. He. Did he only roll one green die? He did. So that was the strain. Ah, oh, strain, you're correct. Yep. And he passed the lock over. Mm hmm. Really should um, change the color of those locks, so. though. <laughs> yeah, something to make it a little easier. Um, so that strain comes off. So that yeah, was yeah. hit crit. Let me double check. That should be a shield off Benthic. Yep. Yeah. And APT APTs. Oh, you're kidding. That's that's a good one. Just the complete opposite of. Mm hmm. Complete opposite of what Cal is shot. Complete opposite of what. Yeah. Yeah. So, two hits, two crits. Because did he already change? Let's see. Um, no, he, no, he didn't change. He didn't crit, change. So, one, one changes, if they remember. APT is yeah, one changes to a crit. Same as normal protons. Yeah. Um. He didn't roll his green dice, did he? Not yet. But he started taking... Oh, okay. He, oh, he, he might have thought it was on Callus. There you go. Oh, no, I think he forgot to put his damage on from the first shot. Um, and... So he rolled two, so just... Uh, shields down, so that second crit doesn't matter. It's just shields down. Yep. So now you got uh, Benthic down to hole. Question is, do you shoot at Callus with yellow, or do you keep working on Benthic, who's unmodded, sitting there? Yeah, pass the lock across, so I would probably. Yeah. Do got Benthic? That's too many dice, Todd. Who knows that? Oh. oh, and he's still done it. <laughs> yep, yeah, just delete those Delete, guys. and now bro. There you go. <laughs> Two blanks just because he deserves it now. Yeah, and he's yes. got the focus. So two hits, and that is range two, isn't it? Yeah, yes, range, range two. two. So yeah, so I, I get in the habit of deleting dice off the table. Yeah, and you would have been fixed that was two dice. Yeah. Uh, roll. No, roll your dice, no, roll. roll your dice. <laughs> yeah. It gets a bit, when there's a lot of stuff happening, it gets a bit overwhelming. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Trying to keep up with everything. Mm-hmm. Hey, there you oh, go. Right. Even out a little bit. 
And now the lap. And that's range one. Should be two dollars, three dollars, shouldn't it? Yeah. There we go. There we go. They're figuring it out. And then, whoa, did he take a target lock that earlier? Is... I'm not sure what he took earlier. Um, or is yes, that... I think he did a simple one. Okay. Go and talk to him. Yeah, it's a, he took a target lock. Gotcha. I'd be spending it just to put the damage in. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh, then he gets the. Oh, he gets the. Um, you can guarantee one, or he gets to roll a dice if you do mod them. Oh, that's true. So he. If you roll two blanks or two focuses again. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's fair so. enough. Yeah, so he just took the damage in the callus. There we go. So. Um, this next turn is not going to be great for Callus. No, no, and Leia's already popped, and... No, he's he's not stressed, place. but if he wants shots, he's got a K-turn on the gas cloud, or he's got a... Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got Benthic shot. Yeah, that does matter, doesn't it? So he can... doesn't have green just yet. Yeah. Uh, Shoot yellow again. Yeah. That would be the priority. Yeah, a little tough. They're both uh, focused and, well, you know, one, he gets an extra dice, but getting yellow off the board would be helpful. I mean, you're not going to get him off the board yet, it's the only problem. He's range two at yellow. Yeah, yeah. But so, like, three, three, three v one or four v one, you know? Yeah. It's the way the dice have sort of been looking at <laughs> No. It's no right option at the moment. Not really. So, one damage on red. Um, one thing I haven't kept track of is if he's, Todd's been doing his um, wounded pilot triggers. I think he has, because I think I remember. Yeah, he's roll. done them both times, yeah. Okay. He's remembered them late, but he's done them both. Yeah. I'm just going to ping that title lock and make him fix that title lock up. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Otherwise, it'll get a couple turns further in and they won't remember who it's for. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, even Callus's arc's not even pointed in a good spot. Oh. A few... If he wants shots, he's probably going to end up bumping and may end up with nothing. Yeah, that's, uh, but, uh, he will be moving last, which red's coming, and red can just make sure, depending on the order that Todd moves everything, red can make sure Callus doesn't get an action very easily. Yeah. It's not the worst, it's not the worst spot, considering two ships are facing away from him. No, but... Still not great. No, Four ships on the board. Yeah, it's, this is just a good position for yellow and green to K turn. And uh, be prepared to come in and burn Callus Town. Yeah. And he's got one APT left on green. Mm -hmm. And the lats don't have a hard turn, do they? Or no, they do have a hard turn. They have a hard. I think uh, they do. I, he, they they have two? to because he turned them in from that first turn. Yeah. Uh, so yes, have a hard two. Hard two white. Yeah. Just depending on how. Hmm. I don't know what you do with a lot here. You just keep running them straight out. And keep that rear arc on uh, on everything for fire convergence. I probably reckon he stops. Sure. Because that too can just. Because, so I don't think there's any way, or the only way Callus gets a shot on him is the K turn. Yeah. The U wing, I don't think, has a K turn. Uh, no, just a, a pivot wing stop. But, uh, yeah. he's not going to get an action if he does that. 
Of course, if he's stuck there, he's not going to get an action. Oh, look at the 4K. And, so, uh, I, think, I think the light just stops if he's if he's ballsy enough to do it. Mm -hmm. Nothing from that. And Callus, even if he tried to 4K, even without that, he'd have been landing on the cloud as well. But yeah, yeah. There's the 4K from Green. If he suspects the 4K, I reckon you'll see a one straight out of there. Mm -hmm. right here. Oh, I just realized. He stopped. Yeah. That surprises me a little bit if he blocks the 4K. Mm hmm. For moving that lad out. Yeah. Even if you hard turn it to block the U wing. Mm hmm. That should be say that was going to clear. Yeah. Does not put him in. At least he can pass a focus to Callus. It's very true. Make Callus' shot count. Try to. Too hard, yeah. It's a little bump. Yeah. So he'll just have a shot on red. Still, range one shot into red who doesn't have any mods. As long as he, uh, as long as he has a better roll than last time. He need, he's, he's due for it, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's been really unlucky so far. Yeah, that, uh, what was it, four blanks? On that and didn't yeah, have a target with a focus token. Yeah, and didn't have a target lock. Yeah, that's a so I get some paint. That's there you a, go. That, yeah, spend that focus. Feels like that's half of his hits for the game, yeah. Yeah, so five hits into red. Damn this there's two shields and three cards. Two, three. Well, that um that brings the game back a little bit on it. There's still a lot of ships out there, but Yeah. Well, I mean, as long as Callus can stay alive and be shooting at something, he can he can burn Listen, some stuff down. But that full health green one's going to be the problem if he can mm -hmm. if good shots into one each other ship every turn. Yeah, possibly kill him off one ship at a time. He should be able to stay alive long enough. Mm -hmm. But they're all going to converge next turn on him, so oh yeah, he's still in a bad spot. No, I mean, red, yeah, Red's not in a great spot for other than just trying to make a block to keep him in a bad spot. But yeah. there, there will definitely, there should be no reason there isn't three more shots on Callus next turn as well. Yeah. Hit crit, Benthic, Benthic show three dice, yeah. And so, Ooh, stuff is a crit. Crit, and his shields are down. So, what crit is that? A blinded pilot. Blinded. So, not particularly helpful. No, no mods for attacking. Yeah. And Two focuses with no mods. I think Benthink got off a little easy there. It's uh, good for him. A couple more shots coming into him here, or at least one more. Yeah. Yeah. Because Red still has to shoot. Oh, I wouldn't have done it there. Use it for himself, I think. So what did he do there? Five minutes. Okay. If I was charger for it, he might have kept that for himself. Mm -hmm. Or he's in another friendly ship. Yeah. Uh, While well, a friendly ship performs a non-turret attack. It's okay, he can't do it on himself. Yeah. So 
range three into uh, range two into Benthic or range one into Callus? <laughs> <laughs> Most of these guys try to keep that uh, score tracker up with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you got in Benthic. Okay. Focus. Need to spend it. That can't use it for attack. Yep. Yeah. No, just spin it. Just keep him alive right now. So no damage there. Let's see how this looks over here. Okay. Yeah, scores closer than I thought. Yeah, there it is. Scores are closer than it looks, but... It, closer than it looks, but it's about to get nasty again. Well, that's it. I, I think it's, um... The game's been a lot worse than that, and the scores look... Mm -hmm. That changes very quickly at the same time. Yeah. Alright, it should be... The lat into benthic, and that hurts. Yep. Oh. oh. Hit, hit, crit. And what is that crit? Just don't be direct. Hole breach. Hole breach. Yeah, it's not a problem now. Looks like, uh... Fincar jumped in to watch too. Is that uh, uh, Julian. So uh, one of the, I think he came over into the crate Discord from Squadrons and then started getting interested in actually. Yeah, cool. Yeah, which is actually where Matt. Hey, Julian. Are you stalking me? <laughs> I I spend way too much time in the crate Discord. <laughs> I pay attention. <laughs> and and Matt's the same way. He came into the great Discord from Squadrons and like, hey, what's this? Let me play this too. But, uh, Matt's not having the best game here, but uh, uh -oh. that's okay. This is a week one match, right? Yeah, this is week one. That gotcha. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. No, well, not a bad one. He deserves that though. Yeah, yeah, he does. There you go. Yeah, okay, this is, uh, this is definitely a problem Indeed. right now. That's uh, two crits. crits. Just get lucky. That blind. Blinded. Ah. And stunned. No. Oh. This sounds familiar. Oh, oh man, he's so close to killing like three, like three of the ships. Uh, yeah, it's well, just masterful at spreading damage right now. <laughs> That's rough. Yeah. Is it stunned as the other one? Yeah. He got very unlucky in the game when he had modded shots and just didn't roll anything to help the mods. Yeah, he had a nice five uh, five dice shot onto the lat and wound up getting uh, nothing out of it at all. Damage yeah. from a five yeah. dice one shot. Hit. Yeah, yeah. One hit with four blanks and the lat rolled one away from one dice. Wow. Yeah. That's an of Todd returned five dice attack to roll. Three hits of crit and a. He's been very unlucky on the dice in this game. That's pretty unfortunate. Also, players to present dice statistics. <laughs> <laughs> That that's that's up to them. I hate. I I never look at dice stats. They'll just bug me. Yeah, they get very annoying, especially when you really? see how bad they were, and you're like, they yeah. just worse. Yeah. Well, on the plus side, it seems like Matt did get plenty of shots off, just not quite enough damage to like finish off any of these, and then, like a, a little bit better. Yeah. And his like, his turn. his very first shot as well wound up being you know callous at range. Uh, Range three, three through a ga gas cloud. Gas cloud. So it was wound up oh, being yeah. instead of a good alpha strike shot, it was a four v three shot, 
and it didn't get any damage through. Yeah, the guys are shots, shots are just not real shots. Well, and, here. and and with that, it wound up he didn't get a good roll, and uh, um, the arc that he was shooting at, that all three of his ships shot at, didn't even need the gas cloud on that uh, on that roll. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. It was just gas cloud shots. Are real shots. Yeah. <laughs> But now he's got, oh, let's see, he's got the U, he got Benthic riding on one hole, and that yellow arch riding on one hole. A little bit more damage spread around there. Yeah, and the Lat can't stop, but I guess Red can move in front and then, like, keep Callus there between that and the Lat, and then that can let the arc, the green arc, like, stay out of Callus' front arc. Yeah, it's, uh,. That'll work. I'm trying to think. Well, I guess Green Arc actually doesn't care because it just has a. It's, yeah, it's yeah. fine. He doesn't he, care. He's full health. He's, uh. Yeah, pretty much just gonna be rolling in here to kill box. Probably want to just. Kill box bend thick a little bit and then pour whatever damage you can into Callus. Yeah. Put him on betting with the positioning here, he just concentrates any, on Callus this turn. Any good APT shots happen? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think it's the only First shot. First one put five in and drop up. Second one put three into bend thick, I think it was, or two. Two. He took two. Mm hmm. Oh, dang. Good out of our Sneaker Knight's console is interesting, so... Oh, that's been... that's been killer. That's allowed yeah, that's him... To, that's allowed him to set up the APT shots so well. Yeah, because then you can basically have one of the arcs take a block, and then you get your double martyr the APT shot with mm. someone. Yep, and yeah. and that's exactly what he did, and... And... And you got the land using the fire conversions for the one that takes the target off the reroll there, does. And it's attack, right? So you can attack with that guy yes. first, and if you just roll blanks, you just spend the target lock, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I know it's been good for him so far. Yep, and just sit yeah. there and make Callus' life miserable. Right. Even without ABT, synchronized console almost just seems pretty good. Depending on how much it costs, how much does it cost? Like one or two like points, one I point. would guess. One, one point. point. Oh yeah. yeah, that's very good for one point. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's on a bunch yeah. of, on a bunch of arcs. Not bad. Wow. Barrage, barrage rockets. Yeah, barrage rockets surprised me, but it 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 too is actually I guess put it's some a, damage in. It's a it's a three dice primary with the munitions, so they don't get the range bonus. So yeah. That's kind of interesting. Um, how much does that cost? Uh, six points. Okay, that seems reasonable. Yeah, I, I, I for the... to like a cannon, right? Like synced laser guns or something. Oof. Um, fun days for Benny. But it's one less shot coming into him right now. Actually, he's two less shots. Um, but, uh... Ooh. Yeah. Strain though. Yes. Yep. Yep. That's mm. not. Is it a gas cloud shot though? I I still don't believe that gas cloud shots are real shots. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will say for um the different loadouts that uh, we were talking about with Matt to be prepared for. Oh, that hurts, Callus. Ooh, that's a, that's a big hurt. Yep, yep. That. Yep. Exactly what we were just talking about. Right. Yep. The. Like no. The no. they are in perfect position to just get in front of them and just not let Callus turn. Yeah. I was almost expecting like a 4K or something from Callus because it, of that. It it's, it was tough because he was going to land on the cloud, but it it probably would have yeah. been his best option though, to be honest. Yeah, because then at least you're you know, you've mm. got multiple targets in your front. Yeah. To shoot at, you, know, you can guarantee not the bump. Mm-hmm. Let's be three v two into or three v one into Benthic. Roll one of aid. Um, Which we know will never happen. He's not gonna he get... only has one dice. He's strained, um, right? Yeah, he should be strained. Did they? He's put... strained, so it's one green. They might just forget. We'll see. 
Yeah, if they do, I'll try and jump over there real quick. Yeah, so I just pull a strain token off the ship if he rolls too many and they'll figure it out. Yeah. Oh, he's fire convergence ship. No, he's target oh. lock. Oh, target lock, okay. Oh, I see it now. 112. Oh, yeah, the target lock. Okay. So oh, two well, hits and... I guess two oh. hits and one dice. Yep, that's very dead. Yeah. Yep. Extremely dead. Um, I too, so... And he's not going to have a shot, so it doesn't matter too much. I'm going to say, unfortunately, Benthic won't be able to shoot anything. Did the lat take a target lock that day? Okay. Uh, he took a focus. He's, he's, yeah. He shouldn't be stressed. That stress should have come off. Jousty arcs are actually a little spooky. I don't know if Mindless actually does well against this thing either. No, I told, uh, before uh, Matt did a practice match with Kyle against Todd's list, I we were kind of going back and forth about who wins this joust, and I was yeah. saying that, no, you know, um, I, I think the arcs win the joust, and the math comes out a lot closer than you think, even potentially favoring the ghosts, but... When they practice it, they said, yes, you don't want to joust those three arcs. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Mm -hmm. The arcs are a lot more maneuverable in that um, jousty stuff. Like, after the initial engagement, right? Rear arcs exist. Um, smaller bases, more maneuverable, and all that. Mm -hmm. Oh, got the evade from uh, Cal's ability to get the dice, right? Extra dice if you're if you modded your shot. Mm hmm. That'd be hilarious. That's how Callus just stays alive for a while. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Well, not that time. Not that time. You're just eating all of that one. So mm. three shields down on Callus. He's on my team and I call him fair. <laughs> Well, I think uh, the Aussies have uh, essentially won this first week against the Americans. Oh my god. Oh, oh, what the heck? Did he mod? Right, just got one real there. Oh, it was range three. Okay. No, he just rolled Natty hits. Yeah, Natty just, just two more. More counts. Yeah, so he's on yeah he's on eight hole, which is basically like a tie fighter amount of HP at this point because he's got zero green dice. Yeah, if uh, yeah. against this many guys, if even if he'd fin if he'd been managed to finish something off beforehand, he'd be in a little better shape. But not yeah. not now. That's a uh, goodbye, Benthic. And. Uh, I mean, okay. at this point, I don't, I don't know if... It's kind of funny because you think about it. Doing the 4K now wouldn't be a bad decision either um, because it's, hopefully it's going to push him further away from uh, a couple of those arcs and maybe just kind of come in to get a shot on one, but it, it's tough no matter what. Because mm -hmm. the last thing he wants right now is just to continue to be focused hard. But then, but like, where do you even go? I mean, I think you. It's incredibly awkward. Yeah, no, it is. It is it's. Uh, I think it's if you're trying to 4K, and maybe you get the shot in to um, try and wipe out the red arc, but you're still asking for a lot there. Um, yeah. Can arcs arcs can't stop, can they? But like the no. red arc could just bump into the lat, and then the lat could go, and then the other arcs could go. Yeah, I think if I'm the red arc, I just I turn hard right and uh, just w and think that you just start getting into a better reposition because you also have that rear arc to shoot Callus with. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So it's like th there's no reason he has to be super aggressive. He can just take a turn or two to keep some shots going, but also get into a better position. I say these things and th I never ever do them when I play. I always... I would think, like, all green needs to do is bank right. Red banks left, yellow flies straight, lat maybe does a hard turn right, and red takes the turret or something. And then, with that kind of positioning, the ghost, if it tries to hard turn, is just gonna, just gonna bump into red. And if it 4Ks, then you're also happy. Mm-hmm. Um... 
Uh, I guess that's also a position you can take, but that gets you more likely to get shot. Yeah, I would just be curious to see what Matt does. <sighs> yeah. Yep. A lot of waiting until now. <coughs> a two straight going aggressive. Mm hmm. Oh, oh not a no, focus. target, target lock. lock. Yeah, no, that would do take those. Uh, I think it's a good decision. Synchronized targeting just for like aggressive target locks is really legit. Mm hmm. Take one target lock and pass it around until you need oh, to use it, kind of thing. That fit. What? Nice. What? <laughs> and, Hello? And, yeah, and this is where I think if he did in the 4K, at least uh, he winds up only getting one shot on him. Maybe two. But we'll see what he right. what he did. He doesn't have Leia in there anymore either to help him. Right. Because even, even unmodded, you're throwing four dice is just... It's four dice. Four yep. dice is two average damage. All right, so yep. two right. And oh, and he bumps. Did bump, Oof. which but might not be bad because you're only you're taking three oh, no, shots. You're taking right? Yeah, you're taking three shots. And no, well, I'm just imagining the lat dead right now. That's all. Oh, wait, I hope the lat dead. Right. Oh, it's super not uh, going to die though. It's eight holes and a five hole left. Yeah, <laughs> you need the nattiest of the natty rolls to just, kill it. Yeah, I need a crit train, a little bit of a crit train to. I yeah, we're just. You need four damage and at least one direct hit. Yeah. 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 No, we had a, a nasty crit train earlier in our game before this to wipe out my slaver. I think you wound up taking three or four extra damage. At least three or four. Jesus. <laughs> one hull and overkilled with like five something. <laughs> and I had hull breach and a couple of direct hits fell in there and it was just... Ooh, yeah, that's pretty scary. Yeah, it was pretty funny. That doesn't do it though. Oof. That does nope. not do it. That is below average damage. Oh. And there you go again. <laughs> and you yeah. man. That Story of this game. Just been laughing at Callus all game. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And then it shoots back and is like, ha ha. Uh huh. Yeah, this probably hit hit me crit. And hey, oh, good. Can't use fire convergence on himself. But, uh. You can pass the lock elsewhere, right? Yeah, I'll be able to. Yeah, shoot the. He could, but that's why he took the yellow one. Mm hmm. And. That rear arc shot first as well, and. Oh, he did. Nice because it's range one. Yeah. Good for the lock here. But that would be modifying dice. Ah! Oh, sh Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, oh, oh, you get to roll. Oh. I feel bad for Matt. Yeah, uh, it it the, the initial engagement just really worked out the way Todd wanted it to and planned it. So that that yeah, I just go. like Hit when you play Two this crits. type of a list, there's not a or lot you can crit, yeah. do towards the middle end of the game. You're just kind of hoping your initial joust goes well, and if it doesn't, then you're in a bad position. It's like, well, I guess I like watch my list slowly die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flip that. Yeah, like you got. There's a direct hit. fire into direct hit. And five left to go. Okay. And what was uh, that first one? Was that weapons fire? Or I can't see it. Ah, uh, weapons fire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now he's passed the red lock over to the yellow. Yeah, at least with a green bumped, you can't shoot a APT at him. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Hit crit. Roll one. Another crit. How happy are you as a judge that you don't have to make like um 
you don't have to make like put a ruler down and say like this is in arc or this is out of arc because TTS just tells you. Yeah, no, that's uh, I love that. I love personally, even just not even just a judge, just playing all the time. Now, like I remember when you get super crowded and suddenly you have to mark three ships and move them all out of the way so that you can. I know it's so annoying. Yeah. Fuel leak. You have to mark three ships. You have to mark the marker token so you can put your template down with yeah. overlapping stuff. Yeah. Or having to mark a bunch of ships and drop your bomb and then just and then deciding who and it then hits it's a each mine. One is like... Yeah, it's uh mm -hmm. when it gets especially with swarm stuff, suddenly suddenly you get a lot less rounds in. So that should have him down to I'm moving real fast that way. <laughs> Let me see here. Down to four hole on Callus. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually surprised that uh, with that lineup of shots, he didn't wind up uh, burning Callus down all the way that round. But the bump into green helped there. Not much can not much else can help there, but yeah. Um, I think he got that at least. Yeah, and Callus's ability saved him a couple of damage. As Callus's ability does. Yeah, surprisingly. Surprisingly well. For uh, being the same uh, cost as a Lothal Rebel now, there's really no reason not to take Callus. Wait, really? Yeah, they're the same cost now. Lothal, Re a Lothal Rebel is 68, and Callus yeah. is 68, and Chopper is 67. That's disgusting. Why? 66 that's, the Chopper. Oh, 66. That's incredible. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. Chopper's cheaper than a Lothal. Why is why are Lothal Rebels so 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 pricey? Um, they wanted to. You know what? That's a good question. Why they took it up and it's um. You know, I don't even have a good answer for that at all. If 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 local rebels were like one or like two points cheaper, I'd be like, oh, okay. So they're basically like you just they just don't want you to expand them. But like they're literally more expensive. Yeah, it's, it's like no, we you should never take these as generics, and it's like why. My agency. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I love taking Lothal Rebels, but now why well, do that when I can just take Callus? Mm -hmm. And I've done a bunch of similar things to the list that Matt has. Especially I've done some cross faction tournaments where um, I want him taking like two two Lothal Rebels, and then I'd have like Malaris or something, and it would just be some weird, crazy shit. It's like, guess who doesn't care if they get strained? You know. Matt can do what he wants. Why don't you use all... If he wants to change your plan, he can change his plan. If he wants to do what they want him to do, because he doesn't want to do what he wants to do, that's up to Alright. Yeah, just keeping red just in the say that's one. He's positions. Got Yellow's another good position. Yeah, that is... Just another... Oh, he flew straight. Mm-hmm. Is he going to turn the turret around? Can uh. he shoot? He's going to turn it around and it kill uh, red. Or yellow, I mean. Yeah, yellow's tend yellow's, to... Yellow's on, like, one health. One health. I think that's pretty worth. Mm -hmm. yeah, turn it to around to the rear or the right side and shoot yellow. Easy. Yeah. Uh, 3v1. Just roll damage. Just roll damage. 3v1, no mods. Yeah. Come on, Rotate the turret. Come on, Rotate the turret. <laughs> Come on, do it. I believe in you. He does, he'll only be throwing two dice. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's it's three dice at range one, right? It's a dorsal yeah. turret. Yeah, he would. He has weapons to you. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh. Oh. It's still worth it, I believe. He can roll one damage. I reckon. Yes. Cool. Target lock, just going after the lap. I yeah, just do it for that one. Uh, yeah, because he'll have range one. Uh, he should have range one on the lap. It'll be close. Yep, there it is. Come on. Four crits and a hit. Come on. Mm hmm. We all want to see it. Yeah. Get the... Uh, all those shots into the oh. lot. That's right, Tony Ford us. Yeah. Hey, finally. Oh, one finally. crit and a target lock for the blank. Let's go. I may as well spend the target He's lock. Gonna spend it? Let's spend it? There's no reason not to. You gonna spend it? Oh, oh. Is it, you grab the dice. Oh, there's the target lock. Yeah. Ah. Oh. oh. 
Well, at least this time the lat can't just laugh blank. at him and, and uh, walk away without it. There, wow. see? <laughs> Alright, hit, hit, crit. Let's see it. Let's see it. Yeah, he's still... Major explosion direct hit. We know you can do it. Kidding. Yeah. Major explosion was removed into a game. Well, this should probably be a direct hit. It's not so far. Yeah. Right, hey, it will. Boom. It will uh, take effect. But uh, but it. Or you engage, so it hasn't engaged yet, has it? No, so it'll still has the potential to put some damage in, <laughs> but he'll, he'll still even if he takes the damage, he lives. Yeah. And it's still gonna be uh, three shots into Callus now. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Did he literally forget comes off on her? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the spate of all console players. Just, yeah. just forget about it. It won't hurt you. It's like, yeah. so, <laughs> just forget about it, and it won't hurt you. Fair enough. But straight off, you got it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> console players aren't aren't real. They yep. can't hurt me. Yeah. So oh, they hear this. <laughs> yep. No, nothing. Sorry, no consequences. <laughs> and See, console fires aren't real. They can't hurt you. And Callus is down to two. So I, he should be able to get two damage in here. I mean, one of those are gas cloud shots, and we all know that gas cloud shots shots aren't <laughs> real shots. Yeah. Yeah, it's still, uh, Unless they're range three. Yeah, range two. Nobody wants a range three shot through a gas cloud. <laughs> so. A range three shot through a gas cloud might as well be range four, like ten. Or he just needs to roll an eye on this one dice, and then he'll die. So that's mm -hmm. a one in four. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, oh convergence. may as well at this point, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's just rerolls oh, yeah, that's, days, that's all it is. Yep. Um, so he gets an extra... Whoa. Focus... Okay. Not focus. Evade blank is yep. what you want to evade. Oh, away. that's right. Oh. Double evade. Oh. Let's go! <laughs> what did I tell you? Gas cloud shots? Yeah. Not real shots. Yeah. Uh, transfers it. And... Yeah, it's me. Yeah, now he's remembering to change the colors. Yeah. So. Alright, this is a real shot. Ooh. Oof. Okay, one damage. Spin the target, target lock. lock. Reroll three. Need two more. Yep. Doesn't he just need. Oh, yeah, he, he needs need... two more. Two more. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's, that's game. He rolled the evade, though. <laughs> he rolled. Congratulations, Matt. Yeah. Oh, that was hot. That was brutal. That, that, that was... felt uh, a little bit similar to our match, just a, a big bloodbath. Um, only I'd yeah, say th I feel this one was more lopsided. very sad for Matt's list because it doesn't feel super interactive on his part. Um, like after the initial engagement, it's like, it, what do you do? It, it can be, though. It, um, it If you can keep them close enough to keep passing that focus token and then pop Leo when you need to... It can be pretty interactive, but not not enough though. I will say Todd's list just is super super interactive. Yeah. Even being spread yeah, out, I just mean, like that's nice. it's just not that interesting to play when you're losing. Like I have like there's a lot of lists there from the play, even if you're losing. Mm -hmm. I don't know that this is one of them. Yeah, no, I, I get that, uh, but uh, <laughs> still, it was, a, it was a fun match to watch. Yeah, come on now. What do you think makes a list fun to lose with? <laughs> oh, that's... It's always like if I can do word, if I can use the words on my cards, I'm always like very happy. It's... Like doing stuff like dropping bombs or boosting, well, uh... or repositioning. 
that's probably something uh, a good example of because I'm a big bomb dropper. So if I'm still yeah. getting to drop bombs and make you work to beat me, even if it's inevitable, then I'm happier. You know. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey, hey, hey guys. guys. Oh. Did you have fun? Yeah. Well done, Tottles. I feel so bad for you, Matt. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. That was brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. But Technical, just, this is like my first like real game, so. Well, yeah. What we didn't tell you going into it though was that Kyle lost and uh, Kyle won and I lost, so it all came down to this match as to who was going to win our team matchup. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Well, I think I enlightened him of that before the game as well. <laughs> yeah, I made sure Todd knew about it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, we both knew we had to win because James lost the first one, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, assume, I assume the worst. Yeah, not, not based on, <laughs> on anything for you, you two. Just wow. I'm, a, I'm a huge uh, pessimist. So. Oh yeah, our our match was um was just an utter bloodbath, and uh, it yeah. was with a hard first couple rounds of engagement. And then we kind of came around and uh, we traded back and forth. I was ahead for a little bit, and then he came back and pulled it all back in the end. I was like, oh. Nice. Yeah, second last round. Yeah, and I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I didn't, I needed like one more round to line up a second procket shot with Cavill, and uh, it just wasn't going to happen. Yeah, but uh, at least I got one procket shot off of Cavill, so I was happy about that. That was a good one too. Yeah, I can't, yeah, uh, it was a nice shot. I was like, "How's he doing six dice?" And I had to go and have a look at Cavill's card again. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's the whole reason. Isn't it only out of bar? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do I ask? No. Who's <laughs> I ask? Perfect. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, seeing the at least knowing that I was gonna have two medium bases and a large base to go up against, I was like, Yeah, yep, I'm keeping Prockets on Cavill. We can we can get this shot off just just for if for no other reason than because it's mm-hmm. allowed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You team him up with Ben Rowell and you'll have two six dice. Yeah. Prockets. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh that was a fun match. Yeah, this this was a good match too. Just um, it definitely that that yeah. that opening joust had favored you, Todd, very well. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Hi. I, yeah. I got I got the first engagement I wanted, really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We thought yeah. so too. That big avenue down the middle was big for Todd. Mm-hmm. Being able to get those ships just come down there together and not have to worry about obstacles. Yeah, well, I like setting this list up in the middle anyway, and even if there yeah. were gas clouds in front of me, I would have just steamrolled over them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know what you're doing. Too. But oh, you can't yeah. separate this all your mods, you don't have to worry about them at all. Yeah. Alright, yeah. so when I face you, put a big rock right in the middle on your side of the board, easy. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and then I'll call your name. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's, that's what you should do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now that's, um,. Those couple of shots from Callus into the lat that just produced nothing. A couple of, like five dice shots. Oh. Yeah, and the yeah. lat just lost it off from the Yeah, the lat, the lat's like, oh, you, Jeez. you only got one, one hit. Oh, well, here's my one evade. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Sometimes the dice go your way. Sometimes not. It's all good. Oh no, it was, That's it, true, was, yeah. it was just great. Uh, it was a it was a fun game. I was pretty scared coming into it because I'd had a practice game against it. But played a couple of games against his list, uh, kidding it out how I thought he'd do it. And yeah, it smashed me both like on on every occasion. Pretty much, I think I managed to beat it once on fly casual. So I was um, yeah a bit scared, but yeah, and yeah. I managed to get away with it. That was the real interesting aspect of the team tournament that we were talking about while you guys were playing was we did the same thing. You know, we, we did a practice match for Matt because he's also, um, you know, this is probably his sixth, seventh game he's played, period. Uh, if that. Not and even. Yeah, not even. <laughs> I think three of them were against me. Um, and so uh, our other teammate, Kyle, he, he kitted out your list. and But he did not kit it out the same way. And I don't think either one of us really... Envision the way you had it kitted out, but the way you have it is good. It's real good. Um, well, yeah, good, that, guys. good against this list. Yep. Yeah. Same. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, completely different to what Todd normally runs. Mm-hmm. I think, uh, I was 
Really, you you the come off your back just before game time. <laughs> in your time. Yeah, maybe half an hour beforehand, but hmm. I don't know. I was tossing up between a few lists, and in the end, just went for all round firepower. It, yeah. I think it it works out super well, you know, and, pa and passing that target lock around, that was brutal. To set to set up the APT shots, or just to set up good shots, and the only thing that I questioned was the barrage rockets. But I mean, and you, and I think we only had to shoot them once, but um, still, you know, it, yeah. they, they were effective. But it shows you, like, I, I think that list right there in this tournament has legs. Like it can keep moving. Yeah. It, it can keep moving. They can. The they can. Yeah, just, I wasn't. Beasts can't get out of the lock, the arcs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, it, it, arcs yeah. everywhere. Yeah, and that uh, and 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 Todd flew it well too because he just mm -hmm. was keeping those arcs on, you know, you know, and knowing that you don't have to just focus constantly and keep the front arc on, just let the rear arc do its job too, especially against the zero jelly ships, you know. Well, that too, and there was what there were two turns where I, I didn't get no there's there's one turn where I didn't get any shots yeah and then there was another turn where I think it was the only part that kept one or something mhm mm yeah so that, that definitely hurt too yeah it, when, when those big guns aren't shooting that hurts a lot and I was the, the one thing that I was like ah oh, no 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 was that that first engagement and you didn't reinforce mhm mm I yeah. was like oh no because yeah. that would have saved we looked at that would have saved you four damage Right there, yeah. and which could have give chop could have pushed chopper to a third round of engagement potentially, which could have been helpful. But uh, yeah, it, sure. it is what it is. That's okay. Yeah. I so, something I mentioned to uh, Scott Matt was <clears throat> the loadout I did on chopper when I played against Todd. Very similar to yours. I just put Magva on there as well. Yeah, and he he didn't have layout. Once you, get a mm -hmm. you can get a target lock on that ship and then you can have full mods for your attack. So you rock up, you take your reinforces your action, then it passes off your focus token over to you. Mm -hmm. And Magva when someone attacks you as long as it hits you, you can take a target lock on that ship. So you can have everything you need for the first round of engagement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It can help massively. Yeah, I can There's no right answer because they go, so they've got no agility. They're gonna burn pretty quick if you got a lot of dice getting thrown at you anyway. So. Oh yeah, I mean I'm just basically, you know, relying on just a lot of hull to, you know, keep me yeah. going for a couple of turns. Yeah, but um, that that can really help push the damage through as well. So. Yeah, I would have yeah, to sure. I'd just set that up and take a look at it. That that could uh, put a lot of damage so early. Um, yeah, the and, literally only difference is you lose layer, and I think I put SCS on chopper as well. Mm-hmm. Just because of points. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah Mac will Mac really went down to five. What was it? Sorry. I said Mac will went down to five points as well, so yeah. it was a bargain, yeah. Yeah. Especially on big hull ships like the guys. Oh, yeah. yeah I, and that's one of those ones that I always kind of forget about Magma, so. Yeah, one of my favorite cards. Just don't get to use it too much. Yeah. I'm sure you'll see a little more now. Um, no, apparently, uh, our other teammate Kyle is telling me in, in our in our group chat, um, our match, Peter, that I, I missed a, a handful of Greedo triggers with Cavill shooting into, uh, and I, I think there was only two opportunities for it, but I missed those <laughs> triggers that I could have put some extra crits into. Uh, every, into every time you shot with Cavill or... Mm -hmm. Imon, I don't know if you shot Bosk with Imon, but if you had a shot Bosk with Imon, yeah. they had the chance to use Burrito every time. Yeah, and I just completely forgot. I was just thinking about too many other things and just completely forgot about Greedo. He's the other, he, he was watching the stream and he's just yelling at our group chat, Greedo, Greedo, remember Greedo? And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm just, I'm completely out of it. Uh, I never, yeah, yeah. and that was the thing I told him, like, I'm, I'm staring at two computers and I'm playing on the yeah. laptop and I'm streaming on the, P, on, on the desktop and I'm not looking over Discord on the desktop at all. <laughs> yeah, because so, yeah, when, when you miss that dango, like I give everybody one pretty much yeah. at the start of the game. Oh, yeah. And, they miss. Mm -hmm. and you miss the dango, so I, I let you take that one. I'm like, that's. I do that for everybody, though. I'll give them one and then that's it. I don't remind them. No, no, I, I get that. I, I, get, I get that. But, yeah. It's. Yeah. 
Those are Boss killed what three cards, so yeah, put a put a very good chance a couple of them would have been crits. Mm hmm So but it is what it is. You know, that was that was a fun match too though. It was it was an exciting match. <laughs> yeah, and it did not start the way, you know, I wanted it at all. Like you having Tobias really really threw a hiccup into uh, how I wanted to start yeah. Emon, you know, like, and I'm used to having to make some, like, being forced into decisions with Emon, but usually if, if you can't, if I get my two rocks where I want them, at least I've got decisions to make, oh, this way or that way, do something, but you had created such a wide open area up there, and now I really couldn't do anything other than put that Proximine down just to make you, um, work around it a little bit, and we danced, we, we both just danced around it. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, and the ion, the ion bombs is what um, I knew you were going to drop them. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to work out how I was going to attack it around that yeah. um, proxy mine and still get shots on the YV. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so. all right, guys, I'm going to close this room out on the server. No dramas. I gotta start getting ready to go out now, so. Yep, you guys have a good rest of your day. Just remember to put your uh, results into Tabletop TO. Yeah, thanks for the game, guys. It was fun. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was fun. You guys take care. Yeah, you too. You See too. You guys. Take care.